Hi all. So today I will show you how you can use Dev Tools override of functionality to debug JavaScript directly in your browser and test the changes in real time without needing to save and then publish each time. And once you satisfy with the code changes and you finalize the code, that web resource you can add in Dynamics 365 CRM. So this technique will save your ton of time during the development and improve overall productivity when customizing the CRM solution. So let's get started. First of all, we will write one basic function alert. Here I will give name as show alert and inside this function we will just call a basic alert and let's give some value let's say hello this is your CRM Okay, wait. CRM form. Okay. Okay, after this, we will go to our solution which I have already created. So, this is the solution CSME002 and in that i have table and case in that i have form that is a case for interactive experience here i will click on edit new tab so in that first of all we will update our js as we usually do on the left hand side we will click on js here we will add library click on new web resource here choose file now here we will add the file path where we have written our web resource it is the first one show alert we will select open and save and publish that is the usual process which we do whenever we do code changes or whenever we develop something from scratch so we save and publish add this library and we add that on top of a particular event or show alert that will be visible over here that is show alert add so now our library is added here we have to click on event in event first of all i will add it on load on load so select show alert here i will give function name what is my function name so let's go to here show alert that is my function name and click on done now save and publish as we do okay now it is saved and published so now we will go to our form and try to hard refresh that is control shift r okay as expected the pop-up came as alert hello this is your crm form okay fine 
now after this let's go to dev tools we have to go to setting more tools here we will find developer tools and we have to open the same file that is show alert js now here let me adjust now here we have to click on show alert and override content we have to select a folder and just we have to select any random folder in local C so that it will copy into local and here we will ask for the permission and we have to just allow it now it will be available in our local so that file will be available in local so open in containing folder now here this file if I open in any IDI let's say Visual Studio code or Visual Studio so if I open it in Microsoft Visual Studio now here I can see my function okay now here let me go to the function let me adjust screens okay now here let's change something let's say I will change this is now modified without the republishing and I just have to save it and I will click on refresh or hard refresh or let me show you one more way from where we can add the code the same path we have to go dev tools here and from here also we can change anything what we want so let's say let me add one more alert over here alert and here also I need to save it and now as you can see here the alert pop-up came or let me one more time hard refresh so this time it will come to pop-up hello this one and this is the second one so without save and publish I did this one whatever you have to check you can also you can debug it breakpoint added and then here also you can go by line by line over here so yeah that way you can save your time you can do your code changes over here and debug test it finalize your code and update the main web resource file and then that can be
move to the CRM web resource as a permanent one. After that, you can disable this one local and you can delete as well this folder as you don't need it. And after removing the changes, you will see the only one uh, alert will be there. as a hard refresh it will not take in the local file it will take web resource which is in crm that is our first one hello this is your crm form so that's it for the day thank you for your time